Hi, this is Roman Tube. Today on the Hunter of Colour of the Wild, I'm back at Mississippi Acres Preserve and hunting for a diamond bobwhite quail. We've got some right in front of us. I've been looking for new need zones. I've been blasting these to pieces over the last week. One's got an allergy as well. So if you wonder why that's not good, that's why. And as you can probably hear my voice, I've still got it. So after I've done this video, I'll be back to bed. How's your New Year's going? Hope you had a good New Year's Day. Um, good food. And I wish you the best for the rest of the year. What do you think we're going to have new this year for the Hunt of Colour Wild? Drop that in the comments. I think there'll be big things coming. New maps, maybe vehicles, boats even, new dogs, weapon packs. What do you want to see? New maps. Let me know. Drop that in the comments. Your top three things you want to see for Call of the Wild. So yeah, I'm hunting for a diamond bob white quail today. I've shot probably five or six hundred of these things now. <laughs> trying to find one. It's not an easy diamond to get. Uh, I can definitely tell you that. So, if you want to know how to hunt Bob White Quail, check out my previous video. I made a guide on them, um, and today I'm just hunting them and seeing if we get lucky. But yeah, I've been shooting them with this uh, Kuso shotgun, and it's really good. Um, I'm surprised. I think it's one of my favourite guns to hunt with now for uh, quail hunting camp. I don't need to learn how to hunt them and where to hunt them. As long as you see the hit on the Bob White Quail, they will drop. Uh, you've just got to go over and collect them. But don't shoot them if they're on the way down and they're arcing down um, because you'll get grounded and you have to hit them in the air. So if they're just going to swoop down, just leave them. Um, you'll find them anyway. Right, silver, silver. So many silvers. Like I say, this is not an easy one. You don't just go to a pond at drink time and find them. You've got to go out and hunt these. And that's why I kind of enjoy hunting them. You've got to go over all the map. I've gone over the locations in the Bob White Quail Guide, so check that out. But yep, yeah, I think the Hunter Call of Wild for 2022 is going to be very interesting. And we're going to see lots of new content on the way. And like I said, drop in your top three things you want to see for Call of Wild for 2022. I really don't know what's coming next, but I'd love to see a new dog box for picking up birds like this would be really good for pheasants, uh, spooking them, flushing them, picking them up, bringing them back to you. That would be amazing. Um, what else? Boats. Boats for this map especially would be really handy. Um, and some other maps to get to locations easier. What else could we have? Maybe a new gun. What new gun would you have? I know I see a lot of people say certain guns and that, but what new gun would you have if there's going to make one? And then new reserve. Um, I think, I've been saying this for ages, but it never seems to happen. But I think we'll definitely get an Australia at some point. Whether that'll be this year or not, I don't know. Um, and maybe like a Lapland, Greenland kind of area. Sort of like White Rhyme on the Hunter Classic, if you know what that is. It's a really beautiful map, and that would fit in on the map in Call of Wild because there's nothing in that sort of location. So I think Australia, White Rhyme sort of star map, um, Lapland, Greenland sort of area, I think that definitely works. There's other places you could have, like I say, drop in the comments what you'd like to see, as I've already said. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what does happen, but a new dog. Uh, for bird hunting and small game would be nice picking them up spooking them flushing them and um, boats as I said and maybe a new map they're my top three I think um, let me know your top three right let's go down the bottom end of the map see what we can get down here I do get a lot of bob white quail down here it's one of my favorite locations and we try a little trick the ATV is brilliant or making them fly basically imagine if you had a flushing dog I'm doing it with the ATV that's what I'm doing and it does work very well for quite a few things but uh, for the Bob White Quail if you don't see them or hear them sometimes it can make them flush and then you jump off and you shoot them but yep yeah, my voice is screwed <laughs> I'm hoping I don't lose it but it's, it's close so I'm just giving it everything I've got to get this video out and then uh, a little break again <laughs> Right, I know I've got need zones over here, so hopefully we've still got some. We, we're sort of close to the need zone time, but we might get some to flush. It does work really well. 
If you haven't seen already, I've got new lines of merch. Me and Ned Bella has come up with designs and they look really good. So check those out if you want to see them. My Hunter Discord, come join that. Um, the community is growing and uh, it's quite a few of us there now. Whether it's the Hunter Classic or the Hunter Call of the Wild, come say hi. I'll leave a link in the video description for that. I've uh, jumped back on Quattro Kalinas as well. In the last few days, been hunting Red Dead. There's still some uh, trophy animals off Quattro Kalinas. I wouldn't mind getting. I need to get some of the Ibex off there. I haven't already got diamonds of. So, Greedos, uh, some of the other ones I've got to get. Um, I would like a nice melanistic red deer, which I haven't got yet, and a big albino red deer. So they're the main ones. I might even just start grinding for another red deer, the great one as well, because I've got a few ideas about that. So I'm on Quattro at the minute um, after this video. That's what I'm after. Uh, but that's going to have to wait for a few days, I think. So the next one is probably on now. Yeah, we just got a lone straggler there. So there is a few around this area. And uh, I think it's because we're sort of main late to the uh, need zone time, really. All right, let's jump on the ATV and go and collect it and see. What it is. Yeah, I've killed five or six hundred of these now, and uh, I've had quite a lot of gold. Do you find a lot of uh, grouping of gold and things like that? And <laughs> Sod's Law, it is a diamond. There you go. So 260. We've got a diamond bobwhite quail, finally. Took about a week of hunting them, but there you go, you put in the effort, it pays off. So, ATV flushing definitely works, and the Cuso shotgun definitely works. So there you go, another diamond trophy. What's gonna be next? Drop in the comments what you want to see me hunt. Um, if you wanna see any guys, drop that in the comments. I, I make loads of guys, whether it's a Hunter Classic, a Hunter Call of Wild, um, I just see what's popular, and then go and make them. So before my voice craps out, I've gone to Suzuki Spy Trophy Lodge and we're going to have a look at them and as you can see, this is nearly full. I'm thinking about changing that top left area, that's one of the areas in Suzuki Spy Trophy Lodge I haven't completed yet, or got as I want. But let's have a look at this Bob White Quail, this Diamond One, Diamond Quail, and let's see what it looks like and that's where we're going to end the video. Right, that's a pose. I had a diamond mallard here, so I removed that. It's always nice to add new trophies to my trophy lodgers, and I try and get every one, uh, whether it's a great one, a rare, or a diamond. But today, we've been hunting for diamond bobwhite quail. We've finally got one after about a week of hunting them. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a happy new year, everyone. I wish you the best for 2022. I'm Ron McTube. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.